Hey guys, welcome back to the shop. Today's project is the shop. So, as you can see, uh, I've got a lot of mess going on in here from all my projects, and I just need to get to cleaning. So, uh, not only am I going to clean, but I'm going to reorganize things a little bit better. Um, this is all pretty good. Um, I've got the welding table that slots over there. The bench shear and other bits slot in there, but there's crap all over them. Um, I put some doors on my shelf cabinet thingies I made a little while ago. Um, but uh, I've obviously got to clean up this area, um, get rid of that random bell housing. Uh, I think I'm going to move the grinder to over there and then actually mount that belt sander that I picked up. Um, and then the big thing is I'm going to basically switch where that guy lives and put it over there. So uh, when I originally moved into this garage, I had that in that corner and it kind of worked but uh, what I'm going to do is basically move this shelf right here to over in, over there next to that other little shelf and then uh, basically just kind of switch things around and um, I may move the drill press to that corner haven't decided yet uh, we'll see where it goes from there um, and the big plan eventually is going to be to build a new workbench. So we'll see if I do that in this video or if that's going to be at another time. Um, the worktop when I do build it is going to be a bunch of two by fours laminated together uh, to make a big butcher block and the legs are going to be steel. I've already got the steel hanging up there picked that up a little while ago um, but uh, yeah first things first is gonna be to take care of this giant mess <laughs> If you can believe it, I did sweep a couple weeks ago. Um, obviously, some of that crud is uh, from under the under the toolboxes, but uh, most of the dust is from here. Um, yeah, this place gets pretty darn dusty, especially when there's a lot of grinding going on. But uh, yeah, so now I've got kind of a good baseline. I'm um, going to probably keep tidying up a little bit and then I'm going to start doing uh, the big move of parts and tools and things. Um, right now I'm going to shimmy, it shimmy that over and save that. Um, I may actually get rid of that um, and kind of put the other husky box, the black one, in place. Uh, that red box doesn't go there. That's my, that's more bike tools um, that I took home from 
the uh, the bike shop job. But uh, so yeah, that uh, don't need that there anymore. So I took them home. So they're gonna figure out. They're gonna probably uh, have a home somewhere in the little bike nook. But uh, I'm gonna ignore that for now, and uh, we're gonna focus on this. Oh, and uh, I thought you guys might appreciate the uh, the mess under the grinder. So, decent number of chips from the drill press, which is right there. Um, but I've got some pretty solid stalagmites. You can focus. So that's off the course wheel. And then the fine one has these really cool, this really cool like tower looking thing. Kind of looks, kind of looks like some sort of flower of some sort. I don't know, it's pretty cool. Uh, I'm going to try to not hurt that. And uh, maybe I'll just keep it. It looks cool. But uh, I think I'm going to take the rest of this powder and uh, see if I can do something with it. Either like melt it down and make something cool. But uh, yeah, we will uh, keep plugging away. things are. Um, I had to move the power strip as well, um, but uh, I still have to put um, all that stuff back, uh, clean that shelf off, and basically put things back in that shelf. But the goal is going to be to see if I can empty that white cabinet and fill a little bit of that red cabinet and a little bit of that black cabinet. Um, and eventually, once I do that, then the black cabinet is going to take the place of the white one and the um, white one's going to go in the wood shop. Then, um, depending on how that goes, if I can't fit everything in there and I have to keep the white one, then I'll keep the white one and I'll be building a new workbench. Um, I'm going to, be building, yeah, going to be building a new workbench anyway, but I need to know dimensions. So if I can get away with ditching this in favor of this, it'll make this corner a lot easier to walk through. And it will also um, let me shrink everything down and get a little bit more space over there. Also, ignore that giant mess over there. Um, kind of working on it. Uh, but yeah, so uh, let's uh, keep plugging away and see how it goes. All right, there we go. Uh, everything's been rearranged. Um, I still have to kind of reorganize the cutoff discs and other stuff on the pegboard. Uh, Got to get rid of, rid of the bicycle toolbox. Um, but here we go. A um, little bit more openness on the workbench a little easier to use um, now that I have it open like this I may actually put the bench grinder back over here because I've just got all of this room that's big enough to fit a engine or a transmission so I'm not really going to be working on too much bigger than that I've um, got the drill press mounted solidly right there I set all my tools and my secondary toolbox so going to take some small tweaks, but um, for now, it's a good work in progress. Good thing to uh, settle on before I end up making a fresh workbench. So, that's all for now. Uh, hope you enjoyed it, and thanks for watching. 
See you next time.